So the global issues course is um, based on the humanities conceptual framework in the NYP. Okay, good morning everyone. So last lesson we did a very brief introduction into infectious diseases and we want to go into more detail about this focusing particularly on your ability to provide solutions to malaria in different countries around the world. The course for me primarily is about action. I think it's very easy for the students to just absorb information and present it or regurgitate what they know, maybe put it in a different format. But if they don't do anything with that information, then I don't feel it's been a productive course. So throughout the course, they're required to keep a blog. Each week they have to add an entry. It can be something very simple, but it um, has to always be something that they've, uh, where they've acted upon their knowledge. Half of the global population is at risk, so that alone makes it a global problem for everyone might think that it's not our responsibility to help them. It does affect us because our resources mainly come from the regions where uh, malaria exists, so that in order to sustain our economies, we need to help them as well. Even if it doesn't affect individuals directly in other economies, it affects their economies, yeah? Okay, thank you. I'm thinking of expanding the infectious diseases unit, um, but I need some help basically because I don't have the background knowledge of it. And Eric, you mentioned in passing that you wanted to do some integration with your maths class because of the modelling stuff that they were doing. So is there a way that maybe we can get it together to, to do a project where I can get your help, Alex, as a mm. science teacher, and Eric, we can use your class in with mine to to collaborate together. So I've asked Mr Black to come in, he's going to be our special guest star for the next two weeks in the class. Um, one of the experts, one of the resources that you're going to be consulting throughout this project. First of all we want to establish what malaria is, some of the science behind malaria and link it to the work you've done in biology for instance about evolution. The chain of the disease, how it is developed how it's passed on, how it's transmitted. Okay, one minute, starting now, go. Uh, mosquitoes do get infected near those houses called where there is like a lake area. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah. There's problems that go with the economically, social, political. Yeah. That's the always extend Okay, can, can we hear the first reporting back? When the mosquito bites a human, it also transmits the disease to the human. So it's basically a big chain. How do you think you would treat a parasite if you got one? What would you take, yes? Antibiotics. You might take antibiotics. You would take some kind of medication, wouldn't you? Um, that's it's nice to have teachers that can uh, teach different aspects of this, um, of this project. It's like, for example, Mr. Black, who is the biology teacher, he told us a lot about how, um, t told us a lot about malaria, the, the actual pro um, disease. Um, and then uh, Mrs. Hirsch talked a lot about how it would affect the country economically. And while the math teacher, Mr. Eckstein, is taught how to work with these models and how we can improve our s solutions. It starts off at 100,000 cases of malaria. And with that particular intervention, it goes down a bit. Let's say I decrease the effectiveness of the nets. As my, let's say I, I decide to buy cheaper nets or something. Um, what do you think that will do with the malaria cases in theory? It will be a bit less effective than it will take a longer time to uh, take down all the malaria. If we were working alone, just the math people, we wouldn't be looking at the social and the economical as well as the political aspects of the, uh, I guess, of the whole problem, which is what the global issues class does. They look at all the different things. And I think for them, if they didn't work with the math people, they wouldn't really be looking at the statistics and the actual facts of the whole solution. So, as well as the science people who give us a more reliable source of information for the malaria model. For me, it's been a very rewarding experience because you get sort of these different perspectives of, stu of different students from different subjects. And I think specific to the IB program, it, you kind of, you have this sort of holistic education and different subjects sort of connect and to look at one's issue and from different perspectives of different subjects is fantastic. Yeah.